Now that's fantastic because it was a battle between Midwitch and Azarovs. All right, let's see if we can get a lap and Wrecker's Yard, not too shabby. All right, I've already seen at the start that there's a big old door right away. We're gonna get around that tree and we're gonna keep our chainsaw going. We're opening up the angle and we're looking ahead. If we see any survivors, we're going to have a crack at them, but they tend to get out of the way, especially if they have any sort of alert. Now we know where two of the survivors are, two se separate sets of scratch marks, and of course we saw that Claudette at the beginning. Now this was a difficult corner at the beginning, but we'll go through the middle this time. See if we can cut it a little bit sharper. Not gonna work, that's fine. Uh, we'll go wide, I guess, and see what we can, if we can make this corner. Oh, I almost stuffed that up with my frantic arm movements. Oh, I could have gotten him there if I'd committed. I was a little bit nervous about crashing the chainsaw right off the bat. That's fine, we'll keep this going. And we're gonna try and approach this generator up on my left. Now we're in the same spot we were before. Difficult turn, and we're gonna try and hit ace this time on this angle. Can we get it? Boom! That is how you start the game with Drift King Hillbilly. Whoo! All right, I'm going to use Trail of Torment, and we're going to chainsaw down onto the gen that we know. Uh, oh, we've actually got someone right here. Bird just flew away. Ugh. Didn't quite manage to get that, but we've got a decent angle down to this. I've got no heartbeat, but they are aware enough to dodge it. Now, the important note with this gen is that it, there is a very easy access spot down through here. I'm not exactly sure how I'll do with getting it, but I'm going to give it a crack anyway, as I'm assuming Cheryl will want to go straight back onto it. There she is. Ugh, I'm just annoyed I buggered up the angle chain, that, that, that chainsaw. It wasn't that difficult, quite frankly. Uh, ever since they updated all these new maps, right? They've updated uh, Azarovs, they've updated uh, Macmillan, and they've updated uh, the farm maps. They've made those uh, those loops, the walls thicker. And with the walls being thicker, it makes Drift King Hillbilly's job much more difficult. So don't feel bad if you can't make it through that. I've been playing this game for 4,500 hours and I'm not feeling bad about it. It might be something that I uh, I adapt to and I improve over time, but I'm not holding my breath about it. Anyone just here? Okay. So this is where I, was this where I hooked my first survivor, my Jake? Maybe. Cheryl, beautiful. That was a beautiful chainsaw, and Ace tried to take the hit there, weirdly enough. I don't know. Or he was just blissfully unaware of the fact I was there. This game hasn't gone particularly well in, ter in terms of pressure and uh, pressure and not losing generators, but I feel like two or three gens are about to pop, so here we go. Now, because of the location of that gen, I'm going to try and open up the angle here. We'll kind of cut hard left now, see if we can bring it back down. No. I did angle it right, it's just the way that the loop was didn't work in our favor. I've ignored Jake, because he might be an easier catch if we just leave him to his own devices. He didn't go for it. Well done to him. Uh, Jen is still regressing. We're going to cut hard right. Is that the Jen we just left from? No, it isn't. That's a separate generator. So that's where we're going to assume the Claudette was, since we haven't seen her for a while. I'd assume that Jake will be the one that gets the next rescue. I'm going to try and cut through here to get the Claudette. I have found a generator that hasn't got a lot of progress in it, which is nice. Now, the remaining few gens, I'm pretty confident, aren't heavily, aren't heavily progressed, which gives me a bit of a late game pressure, a little bit of a late game presence. It's not the best, but it's something. I should have gotten uh, Jake there. I tried to go for Cheryl thinking I hadn't caught her yet, but I had already caught her, and so then I doubted it, and sort of everything fell apart. <laughs> right, we'll try again onto this gen here. Ace, beautiful. I could have gotten Cheryl there. I could have potentially angled it onto Jake if Ace hadn't been there. Ah, but didn't matter. It all worked out in our favor. Now I'm going to hook as far away from that gen as possible to discourage uh, to discourage progression to that gen while someone sits on the hook, as it is a bit of a distance for them to travel. And it's a lot faster for me to get here and chainsaw back uh, than it is for them to run over here, rescue, run that kind of thing. That generator isn't regressing, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. The movement speed of my chainsaw is much more important at this stage of the game. Damn it. 
I should have been able to get that angle, that that corner. I just uh, turned too late. Okay, so we're going counter clock. I'm going clockwise at the moment. So I'm opening up the angle. I'm opening up the angle. We're turning right. And have I found Claudette? No. Okay, so it looks like the Claudette is currently not doing anything. I've checked all generators. No progression. Her last two minutes hasn't been the most productive for the sake of her team. I guess we're taking Ace again. Sorry, buddy. Sucks to be you! As a killer, you really can't afford empathy or sympathy. You can't just let them go because poor poor survivor got, <laughs> got caught a few too many times. Especially with the less decisive strikes. Don't feel guilty because a survivor played like a, a bit of a dickhead. He got himself caught out and now I've got a basement survivor to take uh, for free. Which is just wonderful. Just wonderful. I'm glad I didn't miss that as those gens, those uh, those survivors can be uh, can be rough. Especially the ones that are frantically trying to dodge you. Not even they know where they're going. Okay, so we know the location of the last two survivors. They're both... Oh, I almost got her there. They're both right here, and if I can see a separate set of scratch marks for Cheryl, I'm going to swap targets for her. Not Cheryl. Uh, separate set of scratch marks to Claudette. We're going to go for her. That's her. She's in basement, and I want to go back for her. She's going to make it out, though. Uh, oh, I don't care about Jake. He can... I, I genuinely don't care about Jake. I like to give... Uh, I like to go after each survivor separately first, if I'm able to. If the tools are available to me. We're going to hook... Claudette in the back, and that's going to be all four separate survivors found. Jake has been hooked twice, Cheryl has been hooked once, Claudette has now been hooked once. So Cheryl is our next best. It gives me a, a nice feeling of feeling like I've played fairly, like everyone's had a chance. I mean, Ace didn't have the best chance, but I'd already lost a lot of gens, and I couldn't be uh, I couldn't be fussy with who with who I was going for. I wish that had been Cheryl. Being fussy is like. A big no-no is killer. You just set yourself up to lose, man. It's like, oh, no, nah, I don't want that survivor. Sorry, not good enough. This is possible to hit. I'm going to try and play wide here. I've got no heartbeat because of my trail of torment. I'm going to approach from behind these, this, this rock. I'm going to try and do a hard turn here so that I'm in a good spot to get Cheryl as she comes down through here. Damn it, I was a bit slow. That's all right, well done. We'll do a second lap. We'll cut hard early and we'll go through this area here. We're opening up the angle. I'm going to cut early. Oh, I couldn't make that turn. I was a bit ambitious there. Nothing wrong with a bit of ambition though. <laughs> Just a little bit of it, right? Don't tell Macbeth or Lady Macbeth I said that. Okay, so it looks like they're healing in Killer Shark. It's fine by me. It shouldn't be a hard chainsaw. Oh! Oh! The arrogance in that Claude, in, in that in that Cheryl, should have been punished, man. I did everything in my power to get that. The Cheryl was just taking fast faults, trying to say, "Look at me, look at me, I'm a Cheryl." It's like, yeah, why are you showing that off, man? Playing Cheryl. You don't see many of these uh, these locker plays these days. Fun fact about Hillbilly: you can cancel your chainsaw by letting it rev out at the bottom, and when it revs out at the bottom. Uh, you can instantly interact with a locker, uh, open a chat, uh, yeah, just open lockers or mouse one. We haven't seen uh, Claudette for a while. We last saw her on this generator, so, wait, no, this is Cheryl. Cheryl was on this generator, wrong person. Claudette was last working on this gen. Okay, so Cheryl's been rescued, we know the, we know the location of Claudette. If I can get her, that would just be fantastic. And we'll play for a hatch game. Are they going to heal under hook? Looks to not. Happy to know they aren't. That's silly. Keeping an eye on the left. The moment we see someone is healed up, we know that they've stopped. Here they are in the middle. Got some blood. That's Cheryl over on our left, which means our other player was. Yeah, just here. Okay. I'll take Killer Shack Pallet. Right by me. I don't know if that went left or right. I probably should have held it. Uh, Cheryl's on our left. Gonna ignore her. And Claudette's running amok on our right. Playing around uh, strong loops with uh, Hillbilly can be a problem, but I'm gonna try and open up this with a fat window. Oh! Did you see the sharpness of that turn with the full power of being a of that, e that first second turn? Yeah, we 
we mind gamed her a little bit well better that time. She mind gamed us the first time by dodging it, but we uh we got her that second go. Haven't seen Cheryl for a while. She was last in sort of this little spot at the bottom. Not exactly sure sh where she's gone. I would have liked that hook at the back just to give us our best barbecue shot. Nothing yet. Okay. So our last two survivor our last two survivors now, Cheryl and Claudette, die on their next hook. And they use as this generator to trail of torment until the generator runs out of progress to regress. Uh, and we're gonna do a lap around the back like this. As they are probably looking at that generator that's currently flashing yellow. Look at me, look at me. And hopefully their eyes aren't looking at the hillbilly that is about to approach them from the back. Oh, you lucky, lucky Cheryl. Getting creative with your chainsaws is absolutely, is absolutely a must. Trying to find new and exciting angles to continue the chainsaw sprint. No, can't do it. Is how you get better and better and better with your chainsaw. Go for it. Have a crack. If you if you stuff up and crash, well, you stuff up and crash. If you lose the game, well, you lose the game. It's not the end of the world. Uh, you'll feel a little bit sad for a couple of minutes, but ultimately you'll be a better player when you uh, use that information, what you've learnt from that that, that chainsaw attempt, uh, to make sure that the next next time you're more successful. I don't know if I heard anything in there. Oh, I couldn't chainsaw through there. Uh, they've healed up. That's Claudette healed up. Probably means if Cheryl is healed up in the next second, in the next two or three seconds, it means they're together. We last saw them in the Killer Shack area. They seem to enjoy healing around there. Cheryl hasn't been held up though, so possible. Oh, Cheryl is like, look at me, look at me. I am Cheryl. Well, they're both here. Apparently they've just given up. Perfect. Well, not exactly how I would have liked this game to end, but ugh, that was a bit gross. Not my best work. Okay, so we're seeing Cheryl run off into the distance. I'm gonna go for her here. I tried to do too fancy of a 180 there. It was a, it was, it was overly ambitious. It was unnecessarily ambitious. So the perfect sort of play here is when I call that's into our right. So what I'm going to do is pretend I'm going for Cheryl. Three, two, one, and we're going to go back onto her. Ooh, I thought she'd wander out a little bit, but it looks like she's just rather sit, sit right here for no reason whatsoever. Man, I'm not sure what these guys are doing. It isn't the most, uh, isn't the most exciting. So I'm gonna let it go. We'll go look for Cheryl for a moment instead. Can't tell if that generator had any progress into it. It was a bit of a difficult one to look at. All right, we'll do a full lap. Perfect. They're both here. Shit, what are they doing, man? I guess we break this. I do apologize for the fact this game is going on. I hope you did learn something from watching this game, even if it's how to deal with pain in the ass survivors who refuse to say die. I don't expect them to hand themselves in to me, but I do expect that they don't just do nothing for 10 minutes. I don't think that's unreasonable, is it? I'm not sure what she was trying to do there, but fine. I, it, the way this is being played makes me think that they know where Hatch is. Why would they be playing so blatantly, look at me, look at me style? It's like, well, if one of us die, the other one gets Hatch, right? Seems a bit odd. But, let's see if our barbecue and chili brings us home. Nope. I think she is anyway. Far out, that was close, man. That was really close. Does she know? Maybe not. Maybe not. Alright, chases with... Oh! oh, yes! Oh, I played that very nicely. Oh, I'm very happy with that. 
So we baited her to go for the pallet there by looking like we doubled back. And because we doubled back, it baited her to run away from this sort of impossible turn, which is around this area. It's quite difficult to hit a chainsaw around there. I decided to wait it here with my red light facing away. So therefore, when I flicked around, I could go for it. And then it allowed me to do some pretty fancy stuff with my first second there. And when she pulled the pallet, whilst it looked like I missed her, her character then morphed into the center where you pulled the pallet from, and it collided with my chainsaw. That was beautiful. An exciting way to end the, end the game. GG, guys. Have a wonderful night. Always be polite, guys. Always be polite. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video guys if you did learn a thing or two please let me know that you enjoyed the video in the comments below leave a like maybe subscribe to my channel and of course if you do enjoy what watching this kind of stuff i stream to twitch monday wednesdays and fridays so swing by that uh the, swing by my twitch channel link will be in the description below ah oh i also have a discord server if you're into that that kind of that kind of thing, it's a pretty cool server. Worth your time, and yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Plum out.